Hi guys, welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. Good night one, good night all. Today, if you're visiting my channel for the first time, I wanna say welcome to my channel. Thanks to all my viewers and my supporters. I really do appreciate you guys. I hope everybody had a wonderful day today. Today is day seven of my fasting, my 21 day fasting, and I have another beautiful dinner recipe to share with you guys and this is no other but potato scalloped potatoes and broccoli and cauliflower casserole so if you guys come on down with me we will do this together so for the scalloped potatoes i have five potatoes peeled here and wash i'm gonna cut them into um thin circle pieces i will do them first in half so i just want to show how i'm doing them and I want to slice them thinly in order for them to cook quickly. And I'm putting them in water so they don't oxidize and get um, brown in color. So I'm going to keep on cutting these to these um, this thickness. And then once I finish all of this, I will come back and show the next step. So in order to make the roux for my scalloped potato, I need to add some flour in the preparation, but um, I am not using flour in this fasting. So I'm gonna make some flour out of oats. So I'm gonna put this into my Nutribullet, blend it up and make a flour. And that's what I'm gonna be using to put into my roux. So I have all my ingredients ready. I have two tablespoon of butter into the pan. I have um, my grated cheese. I have here salt, black pepper, milk, my onion, and my oatmeal flour that I just blended up instead of regular flour. So as soon as this butter is melted, I'm gonna start the cooking process. So the butter is melted. I'm gonna add my oatmeal flour, and we want this to to get to cook a little and not to be in the raw form. I'm just gonna mash it up there. And it start browning up quickly. I'm gonna add my chopped onion. I have one chopped onion. let the onion cook for a little bit in the meantime I want to add in here some black pepper and salt so I'm going in with one and a half teaspoon of salt we have to add enough to flavor the potato And I'm gonna freshly grind some black pepper over this, about one and a half a teaspoon as well. Okay, and I'm gonna add my milk. I'm adding one and a half cups of milk. I'm going to mix this up nicely. There goes my half a cup. Okay, so this start ticking up nicely. And I'm going to add my cheese here. I have about almost four cups of grated cheese. You can use mixed cheese or any cheese of your choice. You want this to be nice and cheesy our scalloped potatoes so until this is nice and melted and i can see the cheese is already getting gooey in here we're gonna turn our stove i have it on low right now and our sauce is gonna be ready our roux is gonna be ready for 
the potatoes and I am liking how this is looking right now. So our roux sauce is done and it smells so yummy. I'm gonna start layering my potatoes. So in here, I'm gonna put my potatoes on the bottom. I'm gonna do one layer and I can um, make sure that I get all parts covered. We can squeeze in those little potatoes in between and it doesn't have to be too perfect. So you can put them hang over on each other, hang them over like that so you're not missing out any spot. And then what I want to do now is to put some sauce here and I'm going to have to move with the sauce because I don't want to block the camera. So I'm going to layer some flavor on top here, like on the potatoes like that. So we want it to get spread out nicely. And I want to shout out to Donna. She is one of my regular viewer and subscriber. And she remind me that this can be a vegetarian dish for our 21 day of fasting. So Donna, if you're watching, I want to shout you out. Hope you had a chance to make one for yourself already or if not hope you will be doing one very soon so I'm gonna repeat the process until I'm done with all the potato and all the um, roux cheese sauce and then I will show you when I'm done how it looks so I finished with my potatoes. I'm gonna put this into my 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. And then I will show you how beautiful this is when it's done. So while the scalloped potatoes in the oven, I'm gonna start preparing broccoli and cauliflower for a broccoli and cauliflower casserole. So first of all, I'm gonna cut these, put them in a bath of vinegar water and then I'm gonna steam them out a little. But I'll walk you through the whole process. I have one whole cauliflower, and I have a head of, a nice big head of broccoli over here. So I'm gonna just cut them up into nice size pieces. And then I will come back and show you the next step so now I'm gonna give my broccoli and my cauliflower a hot bath I'm not gonna cook this until it's soft I'm just steaming it a little you can use a steamer too but I'm just trying to do the quickest way I can right now so I'm gonna let these steam for a few minutes and then I'll take them out with a crunch and drain them before I add my seasoning so my broccoli and cauliflower is done cooking i'm going to strain this out and then i'm going to start the next process so i'm going to start with my roux number two it's similar to the one i just did just a few ingredients i'm adding in this one that i didn't add into the other one again all my uh, measurement will be in the description box below. I'm waiting for this um, butter to melt. But in the meantime, I'm going to add again my oat flour instead of regular flour into the butter. And we're going to cook this a little for that rawness to go away. Okay, so I'm gonna add my one chopped onion in here. And I'm gonna let this cook for a little. So I'm gonna go in with my milk now. I'm adding one and a half cups of milk. That's the half a cup. And 
this one to start it in. I'm adding my other cup. And I want to put um, some garlic in this one. The other one I did not add garlic, but when I'm making vegetables, I like to add garlic. So the milk is cold, it's gonna slow up the process a little, but in the meanwhile, I will grate my one clove of garlic into the liquid. And then I'm gonna add the rest of my um, spices in here. So garlic is in. I'm gonna give this a little stir and I can see that the milk is warming up now and I'm gonna add some salt so I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of salt I'm gonna do the same for black pepper. I'm gonna grate, I mean grind some fresh black pepper into here. I can see it start thickening up. Okay, so black pepper is going in now. For some extra flavor, I'm gonna go in with some red chili flakes, and this is gonna add nice flavor to the vegetables. So I'm gonna put in about a half a teaspoon of chili flakes. And this is getting thick now, so I'm gonna be adding my cheese. So almost the same thing that I did for the last one, except for a few different ingredients. Let me add my cheese. You can use any cheese of your choice. I'm using the marble cheese today because I'm getting a little bit of the darker color and a little bit of the lighter color, which I like. So this is looking real nice. I'm gonna add my cheese. I have about the three cups of cheese I'm adding into this one. And I'm just gonna mix this in until the cheese is melted. So now I'm gonna bake these vegetable with my roux or cheese sauce. And then I will mix it up and put it into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and then take them out and we're gonna have a lovely broccoli and cauliflower casserole tonight along with our scalloped potatoes. So tonight is like a cheese night. I'm just gonna mix this in. Look at, look at the goodness here. Anybody would love this, especially the kids. If you're feeding kids, they love cheese. Cheese goes nice with anything, so. I'm gonna put this into my oven and then I'll come back. If I was eating bread, I would put some bread crumbs on top to give an extra crunch, but I'm not eating bread for these um, couple of days. So this is ready. Look how cheesy good this looks. Very nice and good. So here is my broccoli and cauliflower casserole after 25 minutes i'm going to show you my um, scalloped potatoes and here is my scalloped potatoes ready look at that char on the top from the cheese so i'm going to play it up and let you guys know how this tastes so here is my beautiful scalloped potatoes and my broccoli and cauliflower casserole tonight's dinner is a cheese dinner so 
everything tastes good with cheese. I'm just gonna cut into my um, potatoes and take do the first taste with my potatoes. For the first bite always goes to my viewers and subscribers. Mm. Oh my goodness. So much flavor. So creamy, so delicious, so cheesy. Oh my God, this is so hearty. I'm tasting, mm, I'm not a bite. So now I'm gonna dig in for my broccoli and cauliflower. And this is a little bit more on the spicy side because I add some chili flakes in this one and some garlic. And it still have some nice creaminess inside. It's not too dry. So guys, my taste for you again. Mm. Oh my God. This meal is so delicious, so satisfying, so comforting. Like I'm so, so happy with this dinner. So if you guys like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Until then, I want to say good night. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Bye for now.